When you first open FileMaker Pro 17, you're going to see this dialog. It's a redesigned dialog that, if you're familiar with FileMaker previous versions, it combines two different dialogs essentially, or really kind of a bunch of different features into one dialog. And if you don't see it, you're going to come up here and choose Create New. And if you're not using FileMaker 17, you're going to want to choose New Solution. So what this dialog does is combines the new solution, adds a convert button, puts the learn thing in here, has this templates in here. It, it kind of combines what you had in FileMaker 16 of the getting started and new solution dialogs. But there's much more. You have the My Apps and the Recents. So you can see a lot of stuff in here about file management. But we're going to concentrate on creating right here. So you can see the first choice is a blank document, which is what I'm going to do here. I want to create a brand new file. We could go ahead and start a file and, and not show you every single nut and bolt, but I think that's very important. Seeing how you build a file from the very lowest form, a brand new file, all the way up to a finished file is really the way to create a database and to learn the best. So I want you to see every nook and cranny of this database, know every little moving piece, so you're really familiar with how everything works. I don't believe in starting from templates unless you created that template yourself. It doesn't help you design a solution very well. So we have the blank, which is what we're going to use most often. If you've got a spreadsheet and you want to convert it, you can do it right here. You'll see a little help section over here. You'll see the starter solutions down here. Now there's already a content management or document management file here. And we're going to take a look at it as well as this one down here, the more sophisticated sample templates. There's also one called content management. So let's start with this one right here. We'll click on it, create it, give it a name, just go with what it's got there, save it to the desktop, and it creates the template for us. It's fairly basic. You've got a form view and a list view, and you have the ability to put in your document right there, whether it be a picture or a PDF document or a Word document, whatever you want. Name it, describe it, choose a type, a status, a location, put in notes if you want. But that's really it. There's not much else. Very basic. Although, as far as content management goes, you don't really need that much more. What we're going to do is add a few extra features. We're going to add additional fields. We're going to add things that are going to allow you to track your revisions of a particular document. We're even going to do what we have inside the other one. That's the sample, the more sophisticated one right down here. We'll create that one. I'll call this 2. This one is a different theme. Basic same features here you'll see, but you have a thumbnail option here. That's pretty cool. Once you get a whole bunch of things, they're all a big thumbnail section here. It'll fill it. It'll be different than a list view, which will list one photo down. This is going to list all the photos like that. And we'll show you how to create this feature that's in this one so you understand it completely. Um, so this is pretty cool how it works, but it still doesn't have revisions and a lot of other features I'm going to show you how to make. So we're going to go in here and create new, choose blank, hit create. And it's going to ask you what to name it. Now, naming a file is very important. You want usually one or two words, no spaces. You want to make sure you're sensitive to the different platforms, Macintosh and Windows, so you don't use some character that can't be used there. And you don't want any periods. If you put a period inside the name, then what's going to happen is some functions won't work properly. They try to grab the name because it's looking for that .fmp12. You put a period in there, it's going to mess it up. So I usually uh, go for uppercase, it's up to you, but I'm going to call this Documents. Hit Save. And if you're using FileMaker for the first time, you're likely going to get layout mode like this. You're going to see the new panes here where you have the ability to show and hide the different sections here. These used to be floating palettes before. Now you have all these fields here that you can create right from here. And you'll notice you have the default fields right away. These are inside your database. The primary key, the creation timestamp, the modification timestamp, the count created and modified. These are housekeeping fields and essential. So FileMaker 17 adds that ability. But we can come in here and add a new field right down here. I personally don't like that. I prefer to come into the old school way of doing it. There's more control. 
and do manage database. To get that to automatically pop up, what you want to do is go to preferences. Now if you're on Windows, it's going to be under the edit menu. And you'll come in here and you'll see use manage database dialog to create files. And that's simply going to pull this dialog up when you create a new file. And you'll see the same fields here, you can create them here. You just have more control over what you can do. It's more sophisticated. This is really, a, you know, the, the field picker right here is really for beginners. It'll work and sometimes you may use it, but I wouldn't recommend it. So what we're going to do is stick with what we've got here and go ahead and in the next section what we're going to do is create a table for storing our documents and actually it's already created a table we just need to go ahead and modify it a bit